North Korea is known for being an extremely isolated country, with one of the biggest armies in the world who regularly undertake dangerous missile tests. However, there is a lot more going on in this country than you would expect. The people of North Korea have every aspect of their lives controlled. They are made to see what their government wants them to see, and any rule that is broken can be punishable by death. So how does the government's control of the citizens violate their human rights? After World War II and the surrender of Japan in 1945, the United States and the Soviet Union divided Korea along the 38th parallel into two zones of occupation. The Soviets with the Northern Zone and the US with the Southern Zone. As a result of the Cold War, the zones became two sovereign states. A capitalist state called the First Republic of Korea was established in the South under the authoritarian leadership of Sig Man Rhee and a socialist state, the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, was established in the North under the totalitarian leadership of Kim Il-sung. North Korea is under a dictatorship, meaning that the ruler has total power over the country. In North Korea there have only been three leaders, and they have all been a part of the same family, the Kim Dynasty. This means that there hasn't been a lot of change in the country's values and perspective. The 2021 Human Rights Watch stated that North Korea committed gross, systematic and widespread rights abuses, including extermination, murder, enslavement, torture, imprisonment, rape, forced abortions and other sexual violence. The UN Security for Control recommended that the situation goes to the International Criminal Court. The North Korean government has repeatedly denied the commission's findings and refused to cooperate. In North Korea, there are six known political prisons and concentration camps, holding approximately 100 to 200,000 prisoners. You can be sent to these camps for the littlest of things, including religious activity such as praying or owning a Bible. Shindong Hayak is one of the only people to ever successfully escape Camp 14, which is the worst political camp in the country. The life expectancy for males there is on average 40 years of age, and that's if you don't get executed beforehand. Shin now shares his story all around the world about the trauma he went through being born into a concentration camp. Shin was only 13 when he escaped. He was woken up at 4am every morning and worked all day long. While Shin was sharing his story with the BBC News, he said, The aim of the concentration camp was to have inmates to be constantly working. Since 1953, there has been over 100,000 people who have attempted to flee the country. People who are caught escaping are usually shot or beaten to death. On very rare occasions, the people will only be punished by life imprisonment. Lots of people are caught trying to escape over the demilitarized zone. This is a strip of land running across the Korean Peninsula, near the 38th parallel. It serves to stop an invasion of North Korea from the south, in a similar way to the Berlin Wall. If anyone is caught running over there, they are to be shot dead. Stories like Shin's aren't the only atrocities that happen. In 2019, a YouTube channel called Naz Daily went to do a case study in North Korea. The study was about the people and the government. The channel talks about North Korea's unusual laws. It states that there is no religion, no fashion, no Christmas, there are only four TV channels, no Wi-Fi and international calls, no travelling. And if that wasn't weird enough, the government even controls what haircuts you can and can't have. In North Korea, there are only 28 government-approved haircuts. And ironically, Kim Jong-un's famous haircut is not one of them. And sadly, no matter how hard the government tries to hide it, North Korea is poor. On the highway, there are very few cars because the people can't afford them. Inside homes, there is no stable power, and outside homes, poverty is apparent. The people of North Korea are proud people. 
They have a great culture, tradition and sports events. But the sad truth is, the government does not care. All they care about is their fake display of power and their control over the people. So why does the country do this? The country will take as many steps as necessary to prevent a revolution. A study done by NK News says that since the beginning of North Korean history, a significant portion of Korea watches have been waiting for a revolution to happen. However, because of the large military exhibitions and the illusion of power, the citizens are scared of disobeying their country. North Koreans are taught from an early age to be loyal to their country. If they hear anyone talking about escaping or saying bad things about their country, they may to think that it is morally right to turn that person into the authorities for them to be executed. People wonder if there is still hope for North Korea and the people within it. Sadly, due to the complexities of culture, government and the military, there is no clear answer. There are many people out there, such as Shin Dong Hyuk, who are trying to spread the word and trying to help the people within North Korea. However, because of the way the government perceives and treats its citizens, it is unlikely that the people will ever be able to escape the torture, the power, the poverty and the strict laws. They will all continue for years and years to come. It wasn't like I escaped to seek freedom because I had no concept of freedom to begin with. 